Hey guys, Adam with Grego's Tactical, and uh, today I've got a couple videos for you on the road. I know you're going to miss my uh, armrest and my seat and my Dodge, but figured this hotel room desk would work pretty nice. So I'm out on the road for work, and I brought a couple, couple toys with me. This is the uh, Cold Steel uh, Nightshade Series made out of the uh, uh, what is it? F FRGX um, and this is the Karambit uh, it has roughly a four inch curved blade nice rubberized handle it's got a nice uh, large size ring right here with a little pommel it's got some jipping on it and these actually fits pretty good for my fat fingers having an extra large um, extra large hand as you can tell, it's pretty thick and then goes down to a wicked tip. Um, so I don't really use these for the... Uh, I don't really use these for defense. Sorry, I had a phone ringing. Uh, fairly sharp there. Probably wouldn't do much as far as uh, cutting wise. But that tip is wicked sharp um, so I pretty much use this as a training aid to work on my flips and my spins sorry somebody keeps calling the work phone it's almost seven o'clock at night I'm long off it's got nice finger grooves here it's got a nice like checkered type pattern here that gives you grip the finger cutouts uh, they work but I prefer stuff not not to have that because not everybody's fingers line up in the right spot um it's pretty pretty sturdy there's no bend or flex even though it may look like it on camera um really nice little little knife and you can pick this up like seven bucks it works great like i said as a trainer um however this tip is really really sharp and even though it works good as a trainer and it's not as bad as a regular knife this will puncture some meat right here and uh so fits in the hand really nice it's got a your hand kind of falls into to the thumb grip there if you were doing it like a um i guess they call it a regular strike regular like that fits nice that the ring goes around like i said these two right here don't exactly line up so Got a nice little palm on there. As you can tell, it, it's pretty solid. And, um, and then the reverse grip. Here's where I don't like it a lot. Hardly any of my fingers fit in the grooves there. Thumb on top. It does have a nice resting spot right there on the ramp. It's got nice jumping on it. The finger here is nice and secure, but from here down... It has a weird grip to it and I think it a lot of that would be removed if they would just take these finger grooves out um, you know with that being said it's still a I've got a decent grip on it nobody could really take this away from me if I didn't want them to not without getting pretty cut up or at least punctured anyway um, I don't know how this I haven't done any hard testing. Like I said, I use this as a uh, as a training aid to work on flips. The only downside to that is, is this is a really lightweight um, like training aid, uh, and usually the cram bits that I tend tend to carry um, tend to be a little bit more heavier. Just to kind of give you an example, the um, Oh, there's a nice, it's got that nice pattern there. Uh, just to kind of give you an example on weight, uh, this feels like about like the SOG Karambit. Um, can't think of the name of it right now off the top of my head, but it's about that, about that heavy. It's pretty lightweight. Um, comes with no sheath. I bought this off of Amazon. Like I said, it was like seven bucks. And uh, for the training, you can't beat this and you could use this in defense i mean 
this would make some nasty holes on somebody uh, especially if you had a little training and knew where to hit um, you know like if you were to stab that in the, the bicep the muscle belly of the bicep right there that would cause some pretty nasty damage and uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's actually even got like a little little edge yeah you can kind of see it right there all the way down it's got a little edge beveled into it so I mean it, this thing won't cut paper or cut hair but once it got inside some meat it would definitely like pull it out and uh, so I just did the the redneck sharp test on it and you can see it was pulling skin cells so this is this thing's probably actually sharper than some of the, the knives that come out of the factory not from cold steel cold steel makes pretty good stuff and uh, most of their stuff's a razor sharp when it comes out but some of the other knives um there is a bird down here to fit and finish it and quite great uh you can see it in the camera most of the time it doesn't bother me every once in a while you'll feel a little stick from it but overall I give this knife, especially for the price of like seven bucks, I give this knife a, I'll give it a four out of five. Um, I don't like the jimping there. And then it's got the little burr. And for a training aid, which I know this is kind of meant for, not meant for a training aid, but meant for a um, defense tool. It's a, little flimsy for a defense tool it is but it ain't if you were really juking somebody with this it, it might break <clears throat> and then it's really sharp for a, a training aid like you could you could cause yourself to bleed pretty easy on this but anyway this is adam with gregos tactical signing out